If you've ever tried a Bluetooth headset or you're using one right now where it works great for calls, but you're disappointed in the audio quality when switching between music or using it for gaming while talking on Discord, for example, you're not the only one. We're gonna put one pair of headphones made for work to the test and four different work headsets that are comparable to each other so you can hear the difference in audio between when the microphone's active and inactive. But before we get to that, I wanted to provide you some context on why the difference in audio happens. You might notice when using a Bluetooth headset, it works just fine for your work calls and meetings. But as soon as you use that same headset or pair of headphones for music or gaming while talking in Discord, for example, the audio quality takes a nosedive. Instead of that rich, immersive stereo sound you're looking for, that you need when gaming and listening to music. Instead, you're stuck with flat mono audio that sounds like you're talking in a tin can. And the reason this happens is because there's still limitations to Bluetooth. Most Bluetooth headsets use something called the hands-free profile or HFP when the mic is active. HFP prioritizes voice communication, but it compresses the audio to a lower quality mono output to save bandwidth. That's why your Bluetooth headset sounds so great in stereo mode, but as soon as you hop on a call or you're gaming and in Discord with the mic active, that's why you're having that degraded audio. But there's one headset on this list that keeps the stereo sound quality with the mic active. There's many different scenarios where your headset could be switching between stereo and call mode. For example, we personally use a virtual office and Zoom phone at the same time. Since the mic is always active in our virtual office, the audio stays in hands-free mode. So if you wanna to listen to good music audio in between calls, it's not gonna happen with a Bluetooth headset. The only workaround in a case like this is you'd have to disable the microphone in between calls, which is less than ideal. Once you hear the different audio tests, let us know what you think on which one keeps the most comparable sound with and without the microphone active. Before we jump into the audio test though, a quick disclaimer, I'm using these 3DO binaural mics to capture the sound from these Bluetooth headsets. This setup gives us a solid baseline to hear the difference in audio quality, especially when the mic is active versus when it's not. But keep in mind, it's not a perfect representation of what you'll hear in real life. Everyone's ears and perception are a little different, so your experience might vary slightly. Still, this is the best way I've found to showcase what these headsets can do. Now that you heard the different audio comparisons, if you chose the Epos Impact 1000 as being the one that kept a similar sound, whether the microphone was active or not, then you chose right. That being said, the Impact 1000 is definitely a headset made for calls first and isn't gonna be overly impressive for music, but in my opinion, it was better than the other choices when they go into call mode. Being that the stereo sound is preserved without there being a drastic difference in audio when the mic's active on the Impact 1000, it's plenty fine for listening to music in between calls and even casual gaming while using Discord or any other similar scenarios where your mic needs to be active 
which is what many people are requesting. Now let's take a look at the audio recordings to see the difference between each headset when in stereo mode versus call mode. Starting with the Yaling VH74, as you can see here when the music was playing without the mic active, this is what the audio was looking like. And then when the microphone became active, there wasn't a huge drop off, but definitely noticeable for your audio to change when listening to music or say gaming, for example. Switching over to the Evolve 275, it was going strong for music. And then as soon as that microphone became active, there was a huge drop off in audio quality. Going over to the Logitech Zone 2, I mean, this was going huge for the music quality. Uh, it seemed like it was going great. And then as soon as the mic became active, also a huge drop off. Going over to the Poly Focus 2 UC, same thing. It was going well for the music. And then as soon as the microphone was active, there was a significant drop off. Not as much as the Evolve 275 or Logitech Zone 2 but definitely that's a noticeable difference. Going over to the XM5, as you can see, we got some crispy music happening. And then once again, with the microphone active, there is a large drop off in audio quality. Lastly, we have the Epos Impact 1000. Without the microphone active, this is what it was looking like. And then with the mic active, there's still a drop off, but it's not as significant as the other options. I hope you found these different comparisons helpful. And if there's any feedback on how I can make them better in the future, let me know in the comments below. But overall, as you can see, all the Bluetooth headsets had a significant drop off as soon as the microphone became active, aside from the Impact 1000, which still had a drop off when you had the mic active, but it wasn't so significant like the other options but it really just depends on your specific needs as to which headsets are best to consider. There's really not one best headset for every situation. So if you need help choosing the right headset for your specific needs, contact us today and we can help point you in the right direction and save you a ton of time and hassle doing all this research that we've already done for you. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, give it a like as that helps support our company and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more videos like this in the future.